Hello learners, uh, in the first part we have uh, discussed uh, the introduction of array and uh, initialization and declaration of array. We have also discussed why the array is needed, what are the terminologies associated with array. Now in the second part uh, we will discuss the types of array. First the one dimensional array and then the two dimensional array or the multi dimensional array. Let us see now the one dimensional array. So one dimensional array means uh, the elements are stored in a one row. It is the simplest form of array and uh, it is like a list. Uh, one dimensional array is uh, like a list and uh, uh, it is structured of the collection of the homogeneous data elements. Now uh, how we uh, add, calculate the address of one dimensional array. Uh, we you generally use one formula for using uh, the, to uh, the address of an uh, element in an array. Uh, the formula is this is a i, i is the position that is index and uh, b is the address of the uh, first element that is a base address, b is the base address and then uh, into w, what is w, w is the bytes of the memory space. For integer data types, uh, for short integers, W is 2 bytes. For character, W will be uh, 1 byte, like that. Now, uh, let us uh, see one example uh, here. You see, in this array, it is the uh, size is 10, A0 to A9. So, suppose uh, we uh, need to calculate uh, the address of A5. How we calculate? By using the formula A5, that is... Uh, a5. So, what will be the address here? I will be 5. Then uh, base is first uh, B is what? B is the base address. Base address is 600. Then uh, from, uh, B is 600 plus I into W. W is 2 bytes. Integer type variable. So, 2. So, uh, 600 plus uh, i is 5, 5 to the 10, so 610. Now see, uh, this a5 value is 610. So like this, the uh, address of an element is calculated using the formula. Formula is what? a i, uh, any uh, position of an array, b plus i into w. Next uh, is uh, how we enter the value in a one dimensional array. We can insert the value in an array in two ways. One is at the compiling time, okay, means compiling at the time of initialization, and other is the at the runtime. So these are the two uh, uh, way how we can enter the values in an array. In the compiling time means uh, we have to uh, before the compilation we can enter the values. So here let us uh, see an uh, array. Uh, here array is considered of size five. The name of the array is uh, n. Uh, by using the printf, we can uh, define the values. Okay. So, uh, this printf d, n0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, these are the uh, value, we, they display the value, these five values it will display. Now, we can also initialize it by using the loops. So, uh, three types of loops like while, do while and the for loop. So now uh, in the above example uh, statement say the array of the elements is initialized at the time of program is written or the array is declared in the declaration time. Now using the loop, the loop may be while, do while or for loop, we can uh, define the values uh, in the program. So how we define, uh, suppose we use the this while loop, we need to print uh, the values from uh, suppose 1 to 5. That is the program. So, how we use the while loop? Uh, suppose integer n, it is a variable, and uh, this n equal to suppose we have defined 5, then while, while, uh, then here we write the, uh, the condition, what test condition, while n is less than 5, then we write the body. This is a body. What is the body? Uh, printf. This is the statement n. Okay. Then n is n equal to 
n plus 1. So, in this loop, the first we have to write n is 1. 1. So, yes, it is less than 5. So, it printed. The first 1 value is printed. 1 comes out. Then again, n is n plus 1. Means n is now 2. Yes, 2 is less than 5. So, next again, 2 is printed. And then again, plus 3. Yes, it is less than 3. Yeah. First, n is there. So, n value is 1. Already, it is 1. So, next, uh, do while. In do while, how, uh, how we can uh, write the do while condition? Similar cases, uh, suppose uh, integer n, n equal to 1, then do. So, this is the uh, condition where we use the do while loop. Next uh, is the for loop. How we use the for loop? Look at the code where we uh, help uh, where with the help of for loop so here for first is con i equal to 0 then i is less than 5 i plus plus then scan f it takes the value ampersand a i now the array location is moved from the first element position to the last element position as there is a i5 plus plus so it is moved to the last element and this ampersand a i gives the address of the i th element and uh, the element of the array where the current uh, value is and needs to be stored. So, this will give the address of the uh, element. Then, uh, how we access the values in an array? So, by using the printf uh, command, printf statement, we can you access the values. Uh, we shall uh, show this uh, by running in the C, the Turbo C++ program. Then, uh, let us see one example. Uh, this example uh, we shall discuss in the uh, Turbo C++. Let us now see how to enter the values in one dimensional array. To insert values in one dimensional array, there are two ways. One is uh, compiling time, that is at the time of initialization of the array. And the other is the, the runtime the, in which uh, the array elements are initialized after the compilation of the program. So, let us first see initialization at the time of declaration, that is first method. First, uh, include stdio.h, then include conio.h. So, these are two header files. So, header files are used to uh, store the library functions which are help uh, to reduce the complexity of a program. Void main. Then we are uh, give the body of the program. So, first we declare the array integer. So, n is the array. Suppose size is 5 and we are giving the values we initialize the array at the time of declaration so one two three four five these are the elements of the array then before that uh, i have given a command that is clear screen so this function is used to clear the screen and another function that is gets uh, this file gets function is used to hold the screen during runtime so these two functions are included in the con io.h header files and stdio header file is used to store the input output functions then after initialization we give the printf then zero so first element of the array is in zero position so n zero printf the second is in one position then there are five elements so we have to write five times and two then and three then printf and four so uh, since the size is five so last value is the four that is i minus one then we close the program so you revise the program clear screen then uh, declare the array and initialization values are given then we print means it display the values so after this you go to the compile compile control f9 you before run the program you have to compile it so one error press any key 
printf n is not written here so print p r i n t printf so again go to compile yes now zero error success press any key then go to run so yes see the output here uh, one two three four five so these are the values we have entered in the array so next let us see the second method where we are using the loop that means initialize the array at the time of program is written that is array is declared after compilation so in that case we use the loop so uh, different types of loops are there while do while for loop so let us see the for loop stdio.in include conio.in void main these are fixed then clear screen gets function so first we what have to do we have to initialize the array so array is and size 5 so we have not given the value of the array we will give it during the runtime after compilation so we use if you use a loop so for loop you take one variable i then print f d uh, no it's not required you just write enter the elements of the array so slash n it is gives the new line it display the new line then you give the for loop for i equal to 0 i less than 5 as the size of the array is 5 so i less than 5 i plus plus so this is the way where how we write the for loop start the curly bracket then you take scanf scanf is function to which accept the values in the variable d m person and i so this for loop will repeat it unless until and unless the i is uh, greater than 5 scanf okay then we can enter now we want to see printf printf new line the array elements r slash n it will show in the new line then you give again a loop for for loop you put here equal to zero i less than five i plus plus curly bracket then print print f d uh, here n i so they to print close the curly bracket now check first clear screen it is a i here semicolon is not given then print f enter the elements of the array then we uh, scan a function and accept the elements then again print f here semicolon is not given in for loop uh, in the for statement there is no semicolon is required here print f yes this integer curly bracket okay, then compile Control F9 compiling success zero error then Alt F9 yes first enter the values of the array we have given suppose 1 3 6 2 9 so these are the five values yes the array elements are 1 3 6 2 9 so what we have done first we enter the values of the array means after compilation then we display it okay clear this is a assessing and entering a one-dimensional array and one thing if you are new in programming language you have to practice practice uh, more and more times you you try to write the programs you will be expert in the program so practice is very important in the c programming so learners now we have learned the one dimensional array how we can enter the values in the one dimensional array and how we can access the values and also we have learned the initialization and declaration of one dimensional array now let us see the two dimensional array so now a two dimensional array 
टू डायमेंशनल एरे आर द कलेक्शन ऑफ होमोजेनियस डाटा आइटेम्स वेर द एलिमेंट्स आर ऑर्डर्ड इन अ नंबर ऑफ रोज एंड द कॉलम इन वन डायमेंशनल द एलिमेंट्स आर अरेंज इन अ रोज वन रो एंड इन द टू डायमेंशनल इट इट इज अरेंज इन द रो एंड कॉलम देन टू डायमेंशनल एरे कैन बी डिक्लेयर जस्ट एज अ डिक्लेयर ऑफ द वन डायमेंशनल एरे similar way we declare but one difference is there we specify the size of the column in one dimensional we specify the size of the row but here we specify the size of the column also and uh, how we declare uh, it is in the two square bracket suppose of uh, integer it is data type array is a variable then 5 is the size of the row and second one is the size of the column so this is the declaration of an two dimensional array for character we can write this uh, character array now we, we are checking the declaration of the two dimensional array uh, see this one uh, here uh, the uh, array name this is the array a is the array name of the array so this size is the column and this size is the row now uh, this uh, size of the array is there are four columns so uh, If column is four and the three rows, so size of the array will be three four, and the name of the array is A. Then uh, the first one is the first subscript. This is first subscript, and this one is the second subscript. Now uh, in C language, uh, both the rows and columns are start from zero position. So here, first position is the zero zero, and for the first row, uh, the row position is 0 for the second row it is 1 third row it is 2 and similarly for the column position first one is 0 for the all that uh, first column and it is 1 for the second column 2 for the third and 3 for the fourth column now uh, here the first element of the array is represent as the a 0 0 Next, uh, since uh, we need the two subscripts, that is one for one is row and the other is for column, and uh, two dimensional. It is theref therefore it is called the two dimensional array. Now the uh, storage representation, the two dimensional array can be stored in two different ways. One is row wise, means row order, and the other is the column order. So uh, row major order. What is row major order? Uh, here uh, the uh, elements are stored in the first first row then we it is stored the second row like that uh, let us uh, see how in the row major orders uh, suppose uh, in the uh, row that is 1 2 3 first row then it comes to the suppose 4 1 2 first we have uh, stored the uh, first row then second row then it comes to the second row it's safe again for the third row suppose it is 3 2 0 then again comes to the next row so it is in the row order uh, the, let us consider a nine element array these are the elements and it is the size of the array is b 3 3 so what is the value how it is stored first it is stored 1 3 2 then again it comes 4 5 6 then 7 8 9 so it is in the row order row major order next is the column major order here first uh, first column are stored then it is second column then third column like that so i am showing you here uh, suppose the numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 10 7 9 suppose 8 so how it is stored first uh, this column will be stored then again it goes to 2 5 9 it is stored in that way and then it is goes to here and then it is stored in that way so it is a column major order in two dimensional array uh, there are two ways uh, where the data are stored uh, there is a equation to uh, find out the address Uh, address calculation for the row major order and the column major order now let us see uh, here suppose b is the base address first address of the uh, element and then w is the word size that is integer type it is two character one like that 
and uh, the element the address of the element suppose i need i j b i j b is the row j is the column and the maximum row column size is m n so maximum size of the array row is number of row is m and n is the number of column then uh, for the row major order uh, the, the formula is like this b plus i into n plus j into w so let us uh, check one example here uh, in the row major the formula is suppose a uh, one so here what is the uh, uh, address we need a12 that means the a12 this address i need suppose b is base address is uh, let us consider 50 so uh, this is the uh, equations which is used to uh, calculate the address in the row major order so now let us check one example here suppose uh, this is an array a here there are five elements are there so what is the position uh, suppose this position is 0 0 uh, it is a matrix of 2 into 3 here n equal to m equal to 2 n equal to 3 so row order is first is 1 2 3 then second is 2 1 4 and suppose this address is 50 2 bytes 52 60 so using this formula suppose we need to find out the address of this value 0 2 this address means b here i equal to 0 j equal to 2 clear now first b what is the first address base address is 50 plus i is what 0 0 into n n is 3 plus j j is 2 then into w w is 2 so what is the value 50 plus so here 0 so 2 into 2 4 so equal to 50 54 so uh, this is the address for 0 2 that means 0 to 54 is the address clear this is the uh, process for uh, row major order uh, address calculation similarly for column major order this equation is, is the b plus j into m plus i into w same way next we shall discuss the entering the values in the 2d array so uh, we shall discuss this in the turbo c++ uh, using the program and uh, enter we can initialize the values in the two dimensional array like this also three row three and four columns three rows and four columns are there so this is an example for initialize the values for entering the values now insert the values into the array elements by accessing them individually we one uh, we enter the values eh, at a time now we, let us see one example where we have an integer array a b 2 3 that is row 2 uh, column 3 uh, for six elements there are six elements so first is 0 0 11 0 1 22 0 2 uh, it is a row order usually row order row major order is generally used to store the elements uh, then uh, b11 then b6 so this way uh, using the loop also we can uh, enter the values eh, using the loop in the two dimensional array how we use the loop so there are two for loops one is for row and another one is for column two for loops are used for the first column we take this statement then assessing the values how we can uh, assess the values similar way we can assess the values by using uh, the printf statement uh, let us check this uh, program that is one pro example i have given here enter and assess the elements in a two dimensional array uh, we discuss this by using the c program let us see 
the two dimensional array okay so for two dimensional array same method uh, include stdio.h cornio.h void main and clear skin gets now uh, for two dimensional array we have to write integer suppose array is a so one for row first we uh, specify the size size of the array suppose 10 and first one is for row and the second is for column this is a declaration of the array whose variable name is a next we give the variables i comma j i is required for row and j is for column then we have we uh, insert the row size suppose variable is row underscore size this is one variable then column size suppose u l underscore j t size so these are two variable next we enter the value printf give the number of row how many rows is required in the uh, program so new line then we scan f f it will take the values m person what is the variable that is row size row size okay scan f now we enter the column size print f new line enter the number of column so you enter the number of column how many column is there for your array so then scan f scan f percentage d so what is the variable and person call underscore j size okay up to this step what we have done first declare the array suppose size is 10 10 array name is a then we declare the uh, variables that is i j one is row size and row column then printf give the number of rows we put the how many rows is required then column after that now we want to enter the elements elements in the two dimensional array so for this sorry printf enter enter the elements in the array okay then we have to start the for loop for i equal to zero i less than here as we have uh, insert the row size not this size so though it is a size 10 we will enter no in the row size uh, variable so you give i less than row underscore size then i plus plus so this is one loop inside the loop you have to write this is for row size again we have to write for column size for now j equal to zero j less than call underscore size j plus plus this is for column now insert the curly bracket it will take the values now scan f percentage d so what we have to the name of the array and person array is a you give first is i for row then j finish the second follow for column again you get the closing bracket of the second for loop okay so this is the way to enter the uh, values in a two dimensional array two for loops is required one for row another for column 
now we want to print means access the elements so what printed you write one new line the elements elements in the array are this new line now you again write the two for loops for i equal to zero i less than row size i plus plus curly bracket for the second for loop for now j equal to zero j less than call size column size that means then j plus plus close it again start the curly bracket so what is there we have to print f print f since d so array i then j okay now suppose if you want to see the array so you give here arrays in percentage d then again percentage d so it will show the array equal to positions it will show the row and column positions then it takes the value and you just put it here a new line slash n yes in new line uh, if you want to show the position also i comma j comma then array semicolon insert a semicolon here then uh, close the first for loop after that the second for loop then uh, gets function is not written oh it's a game so you uh, verify once again the program first header clear screen we declare the array then declare the variables give the rows then it takes the value column value okay let's check uh, alt f9 yes two errors are there so let's see missing the statement semicolon okay bracket is not there get the bracket here okay call size j equal to zero yes this o is there we correct it this should be zero right then alt f9 yes success and zero error press now go to run control f9 see give the number of rows suppose i have given how many rows three rows enter the number of columns suppose three columns okay enter the elements so three into three nine nine elements we need to enter uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine see so first position the elements of the array are uh, first zero zero position is one zero one it is uh, row wise row major order then it shows the column okay so these are the values in the output so what we have seen here uh, this is a program to enter and access data elements in two dimensional array so this is the program I think uh, you uh, it's clear now in the two dimensional array how we write the programs how we enter the rows and columns I hope uh, this video will help you to understand about the array uh, we shall come uh, next uh, with another video very soon thank you very much